In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fold Venom, which is one of the coolest paper airplanes I have ever designed. You can see it has that awesome forked nose and it just looks really aggressive. And actually it flies over 100 feet as well. So this paper airplane is just amazing. Now, if you fold this and enjoy it, I would recommend getting my book, which actually has two paper airplanes that are a bit similar to it. This one over here is Sentry, and this one is Spectre, which is actually my favorite paper airplane that looks like this with that forked nose. Now, as you can see, Venom does look amazing on its own, but if you support me on patreon.com slash foldable flight, you can download and print off a template that makes it look like this, which I think just takes the appearance to the next level. And not only would you get this template, but you would gain access to over 90 others as well, and that's an ever-growing library for just $4 a month. And with that, let's see the plane in flight, and then I'll teach you how to fold it. Three, two, one, go! All you will need in order to fold Venom is a sheet of A4 or eight and a half by 11 inch paper. And we're going to begin by folding this edge here to this edge there. I always like to fold towards myself, so I rotate the paper. You do what you like, but try to make this a really accurate crease as it will of course impact the symmetry of your plane. And once you do that, go ahead and open your paper up and make sure that's a mountain crease. And we're now going to fold these outer edges into that crease that we just made. So you can see I'm just taking the edge to my crease there, making a new crease. I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. And your paper should look like this. And now I'm going to fold this top edge here into the center. And I really want to control my layers as I do that. And being really precise will matter. This of course will impact the shape of the prongs of your plane. So if you want them to be really nice and sharp, then you need this to be a really precise fold. Same exact thing on the other side here. Control those layers underneath and make sure you're folding right to the point of your plane. just like so. And now I can open this up and I'm actually going to flip the paper over now. So my center crease is a valley crease and I'm going to take the top edge down and make a crease that goes right from this point here to that point there. So should essentially just be like this. Make sure you're landing all of these creases right on those creases beneath them. Just crease right like this. From point to point, you can see where that crease is. And now with the paper in this position, I can kind of collapse everything in just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And your paper should look like this. Now I am going to fold this edge in, but let me show you something really quickly. Basically, we're looking at the angle right here and dividing it into thirds. So these are imaginary thirds. You're not gonna have a very easy time actually uh, doing this precisely, but we're estimating here. Basically, I'm taking this edge here and folding it so that I'm landing on this imaginary other third, but actually you want to cheat just a little bit wide of that and not fold quite all the way to the point there. And the reason we're cheating wide is we're hedging our bets. If you went past that line, you'd have a problem with the next step. So it's better to go and miss just a little bit to the right as you do the right side and then the left as you do the left side. But as we do the left side here, we can actually fold the paper in half and just use our first side as a guide and fold this to match exactly what we did on the first side.
and that maintains the symmetry of our plane. So now I can open that back up and we're not going to fold in again yet. We want to fold right from this point to this point and basically just fold the paper down right like that. And before I really finalize my crease, I can flip it over, kind of spread my prongs apart and make sure that they are kind of the two layers there are meeting, just meeting each other. And then make sure my center crease is landing right on that junction between the prongs. That's just making sure that I am in fact folding straight down here. Okay, and then we're going to want to make another fold that just reveals these points here. So I'm going to basically pull this layer down and those points are my reference points. And again, before I finalize this crease, I'm flipping the paper over and I make sure my center crease here is landing on the center crease behind it and these outer edges are landing in the right spots. And that's making sure again that I'm folding a crease that is just perpendicular to my center crease. Everything's going to stay symmetrical and in proper alignment. Okay, and I'm going to now actually unfold both of those creases and I'm going to open these up as well and open the paper up. And you can see we've got this point here. I want to take that point and fold it right up to this horizontal crease I have up here. I know that's a little tricky just while all these other layers are here, but we're just moving some weight forward in the plane, just like so. And then we can close that up, fold these back down. And now I want to reverse both of these creases that I have. So that one there goes in this direction and that one goes in the opposite direction. Open that back up. And now I'm going to fold this edge into the center and I'm only creasing down to this crease here. This time I do want my crease to go right to that top point so that my prong is going to be a nice and sharp point. And again, I'm not creasing all the way to the bottom edge here, just right to this crease. Now I'll open that back up and do the same thing on the other side. Just like so. And now we are ready to basically collapse our plane. So we're folding down on this bottom crease, up on that crease, and again using our existing crease like that. And now I'm basically sliding a finger into this pocket and kind of pulling it open and just pressing it out so that it collapses into this shape. And I want a crease that goes right from there to there. So I'll make that crease and then that defines this outer edge now. I just kind of push all the slack out that way and it should flatten just like that. And I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. Just reaching into this pocket, you can kind of pull on that and then crease from that point to that point. And then you can kind of take all the slack out towards the outer edge and crease it like this. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna have to use these creases as references and actually unfold everything in order to do that. So we're just coming back out to this point here. I'm going to rotate the paper into this position and now fold from this corner here and land this on that crease that we just made. So here are the creases we just made as we kind of collapse things there. Those are going to be references as we land our corner on that point and crease right to this corner back here. Just like that. I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. So it should look like this. And now I will reverse that, reverse this, just tucking those behind all the other layers. And we're doing basically the same thing again. We're gonna fold from this point here and land this corner on that crease.
and do the same thing over here. So it should look like this. And now we will just reverse that crease again. And this will be a little tougher because it's multiple layers, but you're just reversing everything behind. Just like so. And we'll do the same thing here. Okay, so your paper should look like this. I'm going to rotate it into this position here. And now once again, we can fold on that bottom horizontal crease, fold up like that. It should look like this and you can just collapse it. Basically all we did there was move some weight forward, which will help the plane fly better. And with the paper in this orientation here, we are now ready to fold from this point here to that corner there. And that point is basically just where that layer is hiding behind this top layer. And the idea here is we're gonna create a tab like this, that when we reverse it, we'll tuck right behind this layer. And reversing this can be a little tough. You're gonna to need to kind of roll this section here because of how thick the layers are. But you just gently coax that into reversing and then you take your tab and tuck it behind those layers just like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side now. Curve those layers gently, kind of work them into the opposite orientation. And you can tuck that behind everything else, just like so. Lay your model flat. And now we will fold the paper in half. And I'm going to make my wing. So I want to now take this top edge and fold it to the bottom edge. And there are a lot of layers here. So doing this really accurately might take a little practice, but I like to almost kind of score towards this point here. And before I finalize my crease there, I'm just taking this junction right there to that bottom edge and kind of finding generally where that needs to go. And then I work forward and I can even take this up off the table into my hand and try to make sure my crease goes right to this point. And it's a mix of just setting it on the table and helping to make sure your crease is straight and picking it up in your hands and making sure all these layers that are kind of wrapping around here hug tightly as you make sure this goes right to the point. And that's how you get the neatest prongs. I don't know whether I'll achieve a perfect, perfect set of prongs on this one, but that's the general idea in how you get really clean looking prongs on this plane. And then you just continue that wing crease all the way to the back. And once you do one side, instead of leaving that folded, I actually unfold that side flip it over and work on the other side and do most of the other side without book matching it at all. So I'm kind of working these thick layers, working towards the front, not finalizing that crease, but picking it up and really using my nail and kind of pinching towards the front, making sure that crease goes right to the point, making sure these layers wrap around that edge really cleanly. And then I'm going to kind of bubble my paper and land my wing crease right where the wing crease on the other one is, just like so. Put the paper in this position, kind of bend this keel of the plane back and forth a little bit. And you can see I'm basically done with my plane here. Got some nice sharp looking prongs, but I just need to fold winglets. So I'm going to set this on the table and with the paper kind of sitting as it naturally wants to, I want to fold winglets where my crease is parallel to the center crease of the plane.
And once you do one, you can now book match your wings and fold the other to match. And there you go. Thank you so much for folding this with me and good luck flying your plane. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. I'm now releasing a new tier where you can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com foldableflight and join the foldable fleet today.